Hi, I'm Roy from Elementor, and welcome to the first look at version 333. This version continues expanding the new Editor V4 experience with even more creative power and design flexibility. We're introducing the Variables Manager, Custom CSS, Background Clipping, new Blend Modes, a refreshed top bar layout, and new media import and export options for website templates. Lots to cover, so let's dive in. Editor v4 is a complete re-architecture of Elementor that introduces atomic, class-driven styling and a CSS-first foundation. v4 is currently in alpha, and this phase is all about exploration, testing, and feedback, getting familiar with the new features and building your design systems. It's evolving quickly, and your input helps shape the future of Elementor. Soon, we'll roll out a production-ready beta version, followed by the full release next year. To try out Editor v4 alpha, on your staging or test site, first update to the latest Elementor version. Then, in the WordPress dashboard, go to Elementor, Settings, Editor v4, and click Activate. The new Variables Manager gives you a single place to view, create, and manage all your design tokens, color, font, and size. Think of it as your design system control center. Instead of updating colors or fonts across dozens of elements, you can now preview all your variables, adjust them, and watch the updates happen site-wide instantly. I'll show you. Clicking here opens the Variables Manager. You can see all my color, font, and size variables. Let's create a new variable for our brand accent color. So I'll choose the value and I'll give it a name. If I didn't name it correctly, or if that name is already used, I'll get notified. I can also edit variables from here and everything connected to that variable updates automatically across the canvas. If I need to find a specific variable, I can search for it here. The next feature I want to show you is background clipping. It lets you clip a background to your element, in this case, turning a heading into a bold dynamic design element and later adding custom CSS to it. Here's a container with a heading inside. I'll start by adding an image background to the container. Now, I'll set the background clipping option to text. It's important to pay attention that the color of the text that you want the clipping to be applied to should be transparent. Instantly, the image fills the letters. It can also look amazing with a gradient. Let's try that out. Besides text, you can clip a background to the border, padding, or content area, depending on the effect you're after. This allows you for precise control over how the visual fills the element's boundaries. Now let me show you how we combine this with the new V4 custom CSS control, available for Elementor Pro users with an advanced plan or higher. A completely rebuilt custom CSS experience right inside Editor V4, smarter and cleaner. With this update, you can write CSS directly on any V4 element and it's automatically scoped to that element. That means no leaking styles or unintentional overrides. You can even use responsive and state-specific CSS right in the style panel. Of course, you can keep using page-level and site-level CSS just like you did so far. Let's go back to our heading with text clipping and try adding custom CSS to it. In the Style tab, I'll scroll down to Custom CSS. I'll add a short keyframe to animate the background position, and as it moves behind the text, it will create a sleek motion-filled title effect. A super cool, lightweight, and creative way to add movement and energy to your designs. In this next example, I want to make these little soap bars rotate. I'll add a keyframe rotation code. You can see it animating right away in the preview. Custom CSS can also be connected to our classes and states. So here, the code is part of a global class, and I can add a hover state to scale up the image. I can also customize my custom code for different breakpoints or responsive views. Editor v4's new blend mode control gives you creative power by letting you define how an element visually interacts with what's behind it, introducing a new layer of creative flexibility directly in the editor. By applying native CSS blend modes, you can create subtle overlays, increase contrast, or craft striking layered effects that give your designs more visual depth. Here's an image with a canvas texture background behind it. Let's try to blend these together and give it an artistic look. I can choose between different modes like multiply, overlay, darken, color dodge, color burn, saturation, hue, and many more. In this case, I'm giving the image a multiply blend. You can see how it merges visually with the canvas texture. 
Another example with this heading. Let's add a color burn. Now let's talk about the top bar. We introduced it a couple years ago as a way to streamline how creators navigate between editing tools and global settings. It quickly became one of the key workflow boosters in the editor, keeping essential actions visible and accessible. Elementor 333 includes an important update that further improves how you work. Global and site level settings are now grouped together as site settings inside the Elementor menu. In the same menu, you'll now also see notes and the help center. Page settings and history are surfaced directly at the left side of the top bar. Structure move to a more central location at the right side of the top bar, next to preview. Finally, for pro users with an advanced plan or higher, website templates now include a new media handling option when exporting or importing full website templates to the cloud, keeping your designs fully intact across imports, even if the origin site or files are no longer available. You can now choose between link to media, this is what we had up until now for lightweight exports that reference existing assets. Or the new Save Media to the Cloud option. This packs all the images and files together with a template and saves them directly to the cloud, ensuring they're never lost. Here, I'll choose to Save Media to the Cloud. Now, on another site, I can import the website template with all my media intact preventing missing images or links and maintaining full fidelity across sites. So that's Elementor 333. Update now, activate Editor v4, try out the new features, and let us know what you think in the comments below or on GitHub. I'm Roy from Elementor, and I can't wait to see what you create next.